And the fact is that it's not just about tech or security. You have to talk about regulations, compliance, even cultural bias comes into play depending on the region you are operating in. Those organizations who serve global audience, how do CISOs make smart choices when every region seems to have its own AI rules and policies? As we move forward, you know, that goes back to the function. You know, if, if you're in a heavily regulated industry, you want to work with a company that has tailored their AI capabilities for that. You know, it. Uh, if you're going in and you say, uh, I don't want you to train on this data, then the model should not be keeping any of it. It should be, you know, recording using, but it should be temporary. And if it's and again, depending on what region is, what laws are, you know, then you basically are are looking at uh, whether or not you have to be compliant because it's not permanently storing that data. Um, you know, I will say here in the United States right now, uh, Colorado probably has the most aggressive um, AI law, and it's just going into implementation. So they're the first ones to do it. And they've spent a lot of time on impact. So if if the AI is making financial decisions or who gets access to school or something like that, those have big impacts. So there's a higher expectation there. And so we want to make sure they're fair. Well, how do you make sure it's fair? You have to be able to audit it. And if you don't design the AI to provide you the why and how it did something, it can't. You know, and, and a lot of this is you if you go in and say, how, why did you decide to give that person a loan? And, and we need to be able to say because of their credit score and their these five factors. Um, and if you go in and say, uh, why did you deny that person a loan? And it said, I can't tell you it's a magic algorithm, then that's a real problem. And so that's kind of the, the higher level things that, you know, the, the security is part of that for compliance. But we're also working with our legal teams to make sure we're doing the right thing in, in the broader sense. Um, you know, if we're working in Europe, they have an AI law. The EU AI Act is out now. Uh, there are some in Asia that already have AI acts out. More and more countries are moving into this compliance, and almost all of them are using that scalability factor to, to try to make sure that where it's impacting people's lives, we can ensure that it's it's not, you know, hallucinating or, or picking the wrong example. Um, I can tell you early on in not so much AI, but machine learning, one of the factors we found out was um, it was less likely to hire anybody from an all-girls school because historically that's what the model had said. We don't hire as many women, so not as many women went to all-girls schools. So if we see that factor, we say no. Well, while they were told not to to be biased against women, that sub factor had got into the model, and that's what we need to be able to audit and find out those kind of weird examples of something going wrong. 